Hello and welcome to my fourth studio vlog. This is my friend's uh, new puppy, Percy. He's seven months old. He is basically a land piranha, um, but he is super cute and very playful. He is a cardigan Welsh corgi. And it's just been so nice to be able to meet him and play with him now that we're allowed to meet people outside. Socially distanced, of course. <laughs> I got some footage of me colouring in one of my friend's D&D uh, &D characters that they asked me to draw up. Um, does anybody else play D&D? &D? I am currently and pretty much always going to be obsessed with it. Um, I just find it a really good escapism and it just makes me happy and playing new different characters that wouldn't normally be in my kind of personality style I guess just is really fun and refreshing and um, in this campaign that I'm drawing the person's character my character is called Maeva and she's a female drow and uh, and her class is uh, warlock so it's quite fun um, to have that kind of demonic side to her uh, which will be very interesting to play with um, and of course <laughs> while I am colouring in a D&D &D character I have to be watching Critical Role one of my favourite role playing D&D &D shows um, which I think is quite funny but I'm kind of at the moment I go through phases of like going really hard on watching like D&D &D and playing D&D &D. and then sometimes the group that I play with we can't always organize times to all play because obviously we all have different lives and we all have jobs and stuff so it's quite hard to plan times but uh, when we can I kind of get fully immersed into it uh, which my recent one that I played I actually did some makeup inspired by my character which I find really fun getting into character I always find it fun to draw like fan art of like events that happen in game as well. I do that quite a lot. I have a sketchbook that is solely for my D&D &D artwork. So I like to draw like characters that we either meet or that other players play as. Or I like to draw kind of memorable events that happen in the game. And I just find it much more fun and engaging to have some visuals alongside that uh, but if you wanted to see any of my D&D sketchbook when I fill it up I might put a video out of me going through it and I can tell you a bit more about the characters that I play in D&D I do have three campaigns um, at the moment two on the go and the other one kind of is not really finished but we just don't seem to play it that much anymore but that would be a fun thing to do because i have sped up this clip you will notice that the lighting changes quite a lot um just because the sun kept on going in and out so i apologize for that especially if it's a bit annoying on your eyes I made this wooden box, I actually used a heat tool to engrave into it um, for one of my characters that I play of called Malice Nightseeker um, and I have an obsession with pretty dice, like I know a lot of people also have this problem too. I revisited my shark sticker sheet. Um, and I liked the design of them so much and I also have one of the designs on my business card but I wanted to make them into bigger die cut stickers uh, so I 
re-edited them on the Procreate software into a bigger format and cut them on the Cricut machine. And I probably by now will have put them up on my Etsy shop. So if you are, if you do like them and are interested, uh, I'll always have a link in my bio to my Etsy shop if you want to check them out. Uh, me and my partner went on uh, another walk. You probably have noticed that most of my vlogs involve our walkings. Um, but we actually found a new park within the forest around the area to walk in, which was really nice to discover. Um, and it has some really pretty outlooks on that. So hope you enjoy this. When we were walking back home, uh, we came across this really cute sight of uh, Mother Duck and her little duckies. Um, and if you don't know, one of my favourite animals actually is ducks. So uh, I just had to get some footage of this because it made me so happy and hopefully it can bring some happiness to you as well. So I got another exciting post come through. Um, so another one of the artists that I bought from off Etsy for my birthday uh, was catnip, uh, catnip illustrations. Um, and oh my gosh, the packaging is beautiful. I love the gingham background and I absolutely love bumblebees. So um, with the packaging, I also bought a lot of the stuff with the similar design. Um, so I'm so excited to open this up. And I really don't want to rip this wrapping because I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Right. Oh, I'm so excited. Another exciting thing is I noticed that Mike is the one that packed this order. So hello to Mike if you see this. Um, oh my gosh, these are so lovely. And oh, I've seen, I actually watched Catnip and Catnip's the one that inspired me to start vlogging. Um, so it's so lovely to see this art card. I've seen it on her vlogs um, and it's so weird to see it in person. Uh, it's such a lovely colors and I love the note on the back as well and seeing all of the members of the team. It's so cool. The quality of the card is beautiful as well. I'll definitely be putting it up in my windowsill because it just brings me happiness when I see it. Oh my gosh. This looks so adorable. I can already see how cute Bumblebutt looks. Um, and I really like the um, the packaging used for uh, wrapping all that is biodi- uh, if I can talk, biodegradable, uh, which is really good. I'll try and get this open. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have quite an obsession with stickers. So I did buy a lot of the same line as the paper in sticker form, um, which I'm so excited to use in my journal and also put on uh, sketchbooks and stuff. So I got the Bumblebutt stickers. I did 
get the seconds because I always like to give some love to the unloved or I wouldn't say unloved but <laughs> um, the second stickers um, oh, the colors on these are lovely and he looks so cute look at him in the little flower they're all kind of my favorite colors at the moment as well the kind of lilac and the light pink uh, so these will definitely be going on some of my sketchbooks and journals in the future and the quality of these stickers are so good they're really uh, thick uh, paper or vinyl I'm not actually quite sure about that but they're so cute I might even put one of them on my water bottles and oh I love these planner stickers they're really cute I like the little bumble but also the little speech bubble that's busy bee because that will be so useful to use in my planner because I do have periods of time when I'm just so busy I can't write in it uh, so I can just slap one of those stickers down and it will sort out my planner and I won't feel too guilty. Oh, I love this design of Bon Von. So cute and the little Bumblebutt too. I love him on the little daisy. But And the carrot backpack. I kind of really want to own this backpack in real life. Like, that would be really cute. <laughs> and you can see the different sizes of the planners versus these uh, bigger ones that I think are more made for like bottles and you know like putting on your planners and journals but I love the Bumblebutt ones I do have a soft spot for bees so this is so exciting and I really love all of the stuff that I've got from catnip and I have bought previous orders as well and it's all been immaculate and brilliant quality I cannot recommend enough catnip who also inspired me to do these vlogs so thank you so much, such a good mail day. I did also receive something uh, exciting in the post as well. It was a pre-order bonus that I got for the new Sarah J Maas uh, Court of Silver Flames book. So when you pre-order it, she does make enamel pins uh, that you can get as freebies if you send in your pre-order thing. And oh my gosh, the quality of this pin is beautiful um, I love the design of the mask um, and I am guilty of I've read half of it but I have been so busy that I haven't been able to read the other half so hopefully I'll get a review coming in on in my vlog and um, and I really do want to draw some art based on the characters so that could be fun thank you so much for watching my vlog I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please could you give me a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.